original. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, this is, the majority of what you see in here is, is original. Um, I wouldn't go to say that the furniture is original, but it, it's it's unique with the time period, of course. Okay. You know, we try to find things that look that way and, and stage it to, you know, uh, do that. But it's kind of cool in here today. Sometimes it's really hot because we, we are not central air and heat. It's, okay. It's open air. It's like before the clouds today. Yeah. Keep, keep it a little bit more yes, bearable. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Um, the floors are original. This part of the floor, uh, of course, they've been refinished over the years, but uh, one of the things that we're struggling with, aside from the storm, is uh, foundation. We're probably okay. looking to getting that done at some point. That's a thing. Uh, I'm going to take you one of the bedrooms that uh, is not rented out today. Um, not every bedroom has a bathroom with it but this one in particular does uh, okay it's a small room but back then that's what they were they were just there for you to sleep and you know uh, so we again try to decorate to, to meet the times of the past and um, so it, it's nothing fancy we're not the Hilton you know but <laughs> but um, it seems like nice and cozy in the here experience. they come here for the experience of the old-time charm I, I think you know um, yeah this is very unique yeah, nothing fancy Shower toilet. Yeah, because eventually, you know, bathroom. of course, these were all added on at later dates. These weren't uh, part of the thing in 1906, you know. But okay. uh, anyhow, uh, and then there's the room next door that actually adjoins to it. So if you have a big family, they they can go back and forth, or they can lock the the restrooms and. Um, Okay. But we have TVs in the rooms, and we have microwaves if they need to, you know, heat something up. Refrigerators to keep something cool. Okay, uh, very good. Each room is painted different. I think I, I don't think there's one room in here that's painted the same. <laughs> I think that uh, we probably get a can of paint and we just use it if we need it. You know. There you have. go. But it makes uh, it unique. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we can go upstairs. Okay. I, I can show you. But we do have a full house right now, so I can't show you any of the bedrooms upstairs. Okay. Um, but we can go up there and look at 18. Which, uh, same thing up here. Some of the rooms have bathrooms, and the ones that don't, we have bathrooms in the hallway. Uh, for them to uh, community, community shower. Okay. Um, so they would just come in and use the restroom here. Very good. So they share. Um, and then this room right here is the one that took on the most damage. And it, it, it looks pretty horrible. So. Wow, yes. Yeah, so what happened was in that original storm we had back in the end of May. Yes. It had ripped back part of the roof. And we had it we had it tarped and we had a contractor scheduled to come in and, and put on a new roof but or not a new roof but a new section to replace to repair that part that was damaged mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't quite make it in time because the hurricane came and yeah. it ripped off the tarping and caused water to flood into here and from here it went down into the cafe and oh. caused more damage up there down there and um, so this is one of the things we'll have to fix. Uh, we are already talking to contractors about the roof. Um, we're going to definitely fix the section that needs to be repaired, but the big part of our fundraiser is we're looking to hope to raise enough money to put a whole brand new roof on the entire building because it is needed. Okay. Um, so hopefully we can accomplish that come next Saturday. Um, We'll see what happens but that that's the goal is to fix the entire roof not just the piece because uh, it's very expensive you know people don't realize what all it takes to keep up a building this age you know it, it's right. over 100 years old so it takes a lot it really does 
And every so day, they just always ongoing. Oh, and every day we fight renovations and repairs that need to be done. You know, um, back in 2021, we took a hit with the, the freeze. Yes. And we had to replace all our plumbing. And so all our plumbing is, is great. We have all pecs throughout the whole hotel, but that cost us somewhere around $40,000. I can day. imagine that's yeah. very expensive. Yeah. So that kind of wiped us out, you know. And uh, it kind of all started with COVID, you know, when we, when COVID hit, you know, we had to be very minimal to how we proceeded and caused a dip in our stay here. And then the 2021 storm happened, you know, with the freeze and then it's just, it's constant. It's, ne it's never just a week where nothing happens. Some, something's broke. <laughs> True. A light fixture, a doorknob, a, you know. You, go, you can always find something, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, it continues back there. We have a laundry room and stuff like that in the back over there. Okay. Um, so nothing really big to see back there. But you can see here how big the hallway is. Um, the front porch is accessible. Uh, we, a lot of people don't go out there. Uh, but we, we do keep it open so that air goes through. Uh, stay cool. This this is uh, somebody but staying here. You can really get the early 1900s yeah, experience. Well, you know, people don't come here because we're the Hilton or anything like that. Yeah. They come because they want to experience the, um, the nostalgia of that that she's got it locked. But um, anyway, you can look up out on the balcony and see the bank. My he also built the bank across the street. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he built the bank across the street, and we actually the family finally went <coughs> on that up until it was purchased by First State Bank. So they purchased that privately from my my grandfather and my father. Uh, I want to say that was in the late 1990s. Okay. Because my, my oldest son was a young child then, so that's how I re reference that. But he did build the bank at the same time, and now First State Bank has that, and they've renovated it, and it's beautiful in there. Wow, very nice. Yeah, so... Okay. Got the repairman here right now. <laughs> oh, good timing. I'm yes. doing an interview. Oh. I was just telling him how we got repaired <coughs> all the time. When you get a second, I didn't talk to you about your back door. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. So this is the cafe. Now okay. on the cafe. It's a mess. How you doing, sir? I'm Trey Ramsey. I'm just talking with you on the phone. Trey, nice to meet you. Thanks for letting me come out today. Oh, good this, this is really nice. This is a fascinating place. Very beautiful. Yeah, Very we historic. We appreciate it. Great coffee, sir. Would you like some coffee? Yeah, I'll take a little coffee. No, I don't mind. If you don't mind. Um, so, on the cafe, the historical foundation owns the entire building. And okay. And we lease the cafe to Miss Helen Feldhausen, who's had it for almost 50 years now. Uh, I can remember coming up here with my dad on Saturdays, and Helen's been feeding me pancakes forever. I'm 52 years old, so she's been feeding me pancakes for a long time. <laughs> and if you've never had one, come get the, one. Uh, the story on the uh, Texas bucket list. Yes, my dad was in on that. Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that did was, a little research last night. Yeah, my dad was the, the tall gentleman that was interviewed. Oh, yeah. And my mom was on there, too, yeah. And they've all since passed on, which is why I'm here and not them. <laughs> so um, I was just telling Rick this morning that I realized today that um, it, it falls on, unfortunately, it falls on my generation to keep this going. And I never thought that that would be the case. Right. I thought it would be, you know, up to my mom and dad or even my brother, my older brother. And he's no longer here either. And um, so now it's left to me. And I, I hope that the next generation is able to continue it on as well. Hopefully so. That, Does that see the, my, my the historical value yeah. in it? Yeah. So, uh, anyhow, uh, this is the damage that was caused from the room leaking upstairs. Okay. We walked in that morning and I, I just, I took a deep breath and I, I didn't even have any words. I was just like, you know, flustered. And yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I can imagine. You can see what it did to the floor. Yeah, the floor, yeah. Yeah, well, we're hoping that, you know, it, it's, uh, we're able to, I mean, we know we're going to have to fix it, but we're hoping we're going to be able to refurbish what we have and not have to get new, because this all is original. This is original. Hopefully, that will be the case. Yes, yeah. So, Adopt a room, if you will. Uh -huh, adopt a room. There you go. So they can adopt a room and, and, and pay to have like a new mattress and new rug and new paint job and things like that. And then we put a plaque on the door that says this is the such and such bedroom. You know. So we have a few. Oh, of those very rooms. nice. Outside of things like uh, COVID or weather, do you normally have a pretty good flow of people coming here and staying? Yes, uh, especially during outages and things like the STP, the nuclear plant. Yeah. We had a following of people that every time they had an outage, they would come and fill up our rooms. You know, and those are always great. And then when we have events around town, people come and, you know, we have weddings in the area, they'll come and rent rooms. And we had stayed pretty steady, but I think when what started it was COVID. Yes. And we kind of picked back up a little bit, and this spring we had a good turnout from an outage in uh, STP. Uh -huh. they, they came back finally after the last three years of not being able to, to come stay with us, and so we did real well. And uh, right now we have uh, almost all of our rooms that can be rented are rented uh, for the, this past week due to the storm. Uh, I'm not really sure which agency it is, but somebody's here. paid to have all the paint and uh, the new bedding and new mattress and TV and all that stuff upgraded in there. Very nice. Uh, this one, my brother did this. Um, this is the Lee Edward Pierce family room and he donated that several years ago. Um, like I said, he 
passed away in 2020. Okay. So he's no longer with us either. Uh, he was actually the president before me. Um, but anyhow, that's what we do with that donation. Yeah. And then, like I said, on the donor boards, we'll do something like that. Uh, once we get everything situated, we'll have that a new one plaque put up here when that when we get it all lined out. Deidre yeah, is very good. our uh, hotel manager. She was here in the hotel. Uh, Hello. Right. She's, good. She's here. Uh, seven days a week. Uh, she takes two days off during the week, but she's still on property. Okay. Um, so somebody's here at all times. Um, Good to know. Yeah, she sp spends the night here Sunday night. <laughs> wow. I bet that was interesting. <laughs> I told her she could leave, but she stayed. Yes. That is from, the majority of those is from the storm in May. Okay. And we actually, the glass company was coming Monday, this past Monday, <laughs> to replace all of our glass that was broken, but they obviously, obviously couldn't do that. Obviously could not on that yeah, day. And uh, we ended up losing more windows. And then that's the section of the roof over there that was ripped off. So you want to get a shot of that. It took out the big window. Uh, there at the, at the very top. top, yeah. And the way to access that is in the attic. There is an attic. Okay. Uh, we only let really two people go up there. My son and my nephew are the only two that are brave enough to get up in there. It's pretty scary. I mean, <laughs> but that's as I far as imagine. I go. I don't walk in there at all. Uh, we'll leave that to them. So yeah. Looks like we're getting raindrops and mosquitoes. But uh, so this is the side door of the cafe. Where we just at. Okay. tarp is the original tarp we had up and we were in a hurry to get it re-tarped and so they haven't cut that down yet but uh, we're gonna get that done before Saturday hopefully. Um, and what's the right there with the hanging bell? Um, it's, a, it's a bell. I can't tell you when it was put there. I'm not, uh, if my mother was here she would tell you. My mother was uh, my mom was the president of the Historical Foundation for Matagorda County for okay. many, many, many years. Uh, she's responsible for the majority of the historical markers you see in Matagorda County. Okay. Uh, but it, it, I, I think it's original to the time. I just don't have an exact date as to when it was placed there and what its purpose was. But uh, it withstood the, the storm. I didn't hear it ringing anyway. I think they got it cut off. But, uh, ooh, those mosquitoes. Anyhow, this is the side that we didn't have anything broken on the other side because everything came from this way. Um, thankfully, it was just one side and not the other. When I was a child, my dad and, and his brother, Mike, that's where their offices were. Okay. Uh, they were both cattlemen and they had an office in each room, and uh, that's all I've ever known it as. And then, like I said, First State Bank of the Weeds came in and offered to purchase it. They wanted to put a bank here, and so we sold it to them, and that's who owns that now. Okay, very but nice. that was originally built by John Malcolm. So, uh, this we're glad that you came. We appreciate it, and honored to do so. Honored to do so.